guys, I am Akanksha Kohli, a Karnataka senior state player, and I will be doing reviews and previews for this year's Tata IPL 2022 for Circle of Cricket. Well, I am really, really excited for this year's edition as we've got two new teams, which is Lucknow Super Giants and Gujarat Titans. So it makes from eight to a ten-team tournament, which makes it even more bigger and healthier this year. Well, there's so many surprises that we've seen. A whole new different squads, I think, for all ten teams, and everybody's got almost a new face for their captaincy this year. Starting with match number one, which is happening today at 7:30 p.m., CSK, the defending champions, versus KKR, the two-time IPL champions. CSK just gave us a shock a few days ago by MSG stepping down and handing the reins over to Ravindra Jadeja, who truly deserves it, as he's been one player who's been with CSK for the longest time. And has been groomed by MSG when he played for India as well as for CSK. Well, CSK would look to start with a win this year, even though they might not have Faf, which was who was a great uh, opening partner along with Ruturaj, who was the highest run getter last year. So CSK will definitely look to have somebody who can give them that firepower as Faf did uh, last year. They've got a pretty good squad, a decent squad, I would say. But it really depends on how they would go about their opening combinations this year, as well as a uh, few setbacks for CSK as Mohin Ali misses out and Deepak Chahar misses out because of injury. So these two were the key players last year, but we'll have to see who uh, they bring in to replace them uh, for at least the first few games uh, starting today. We've got Devon Conway for them, who could be a really good prospect uh, in terms of offering the runs with the bat. And we've got Adam Milne, who can also uh, give that, uh, you know, the bounce and pace what is really required on one cricket pitches. So we know that IPL is happening only in Maharashtra this year because of the COVID situation. And in Maharashtra, it kind of do uh, it kind of does help the pacers as it, is, it kind of offers a little bit of turn there. So I guess CSK would definitely want to look at having a good combination of pace as well as. Uh, spin in order to give them uh, an upper hand as compared to KKR. Well, KKR again has got a new captain, Shreya Sayer, who brings in a lot of energy, and we've all seen the kind of form that he's been in in the recently concluded series against Sri Lanka. So he definitely looks to be a captain who has done well in the past and who definitely uh, has had led Delhi Capitals in the past really well. So KKR will be very excited to have him. Uh, they also have got Andre Russell as well as uh, Varun Chakravarti and uh, Sunil Rai as this, as their main spinners. So I guess that gives them a little more higher end as compared to uh, CSK. I would say because KKR to me looks to be a little more balanced side uh, as compared to the CSK at the moment. Uh, KKR had retained Venkatesh Iyer and they did show faith in him because of the extremely great performance what he did last year. So I think he will be one batter who would want to go all out this year as well. Uh, but again, um, it's going to be a great combination. You never know who might win. But please do comment below and let me know who do you think would actually win the game in the, in the opening encounter today. Would it be CSK, the defending champions, or a new KKR? What do you think? Who is going to win? Please don't forget to comment. And I will be back again after the match. Till then, you guys take care, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.